still, he's been to the final eight, he still answers his own phone. So I really like that about the guy, too. Getting a little carried away now, Keith. Sit down, all right? <laughs> all right. Um, what we're going to do is, um, I'm going to show you the offense that we run at Villanova primary. We run other offenses too. And this has been a, a, a something, a, a learning process for me. I, I started doing this 27 years ago. Okay, and over 27 years I've added some things to it, taken some things away. Kids would do something in practice and we would just add it to the offense. Something you have to understand is, um, what I learned a long time ago, is that forget about, like, there's ones and twos and threes and fours and fives on here, but it doesn't matter. Everything is interchangeable, okay? And what I've learned is that if you don't have great talent, you need to have some kind of system. And then people will say then if you have great talent, then that, that system takes away from those players. Well, that's incorrect. All, the, all that happens is those players just make the system better. So I don't, I don't adhere to the concept of you know, great or athletic or, or talented players like that can't play within a system. I think they can. The only difference is they use their individual skills within the system. So that's what we've done over the last five or six years if you watched us play. We still run the same offense, but we do a lot more individual things because we have players that can do more individual things. And I think that this offense is great for, for everything. You can use it for whatever you want to use it for. Okay, I know some of you don't have a shot clock. This would be really something good when you don't have a shot clock. We have a 30 second shot clock. We can still use it and control tempo at the same time. Like people think, like when we played Connecticut, we won. I think it was 52-48 one game, and then last year we won 59-57-54 or something. It's not necessarily our defense. It's it's that we have, we can control the tempo of the game with this. Okay, so you can accomplish a lot of different things, and also what you can accomplish is wear down your opponent. We don't particularly play fast from that baseline to that baseline. But we, when we start our offense, we make more passes and more cuts in 20-some seconds than anybody else, I think, in the country. Okay, and you'll see that today. Okay, so we'll start off with, like, I have all this stuff written down, it's great and all, but I, I, let me just, I'll just explain it as I go, follow along. I know myself, I can't follow diagrams, it's easier for me to watch. Okay, and I'll just go through each of the things, and as I go along, you can just follow. Um, let me have the five players out first. I'm going to go right to the five players, okay? Show you the basic concept of the offense, all right? <clears throat> I'm a trial and error coach, meaning that I, I try to, I throw things at people probably too fast, but I, but I learned how to swim by getting thrown in the water. I learned how to drive by getting thrown behind the wheel, and I found that it looks awful at the beginning, but you learn a lot faster, okay? Most people who try this usually abandon it after the first week and a half. People have gotten through it. It gets better as it goes, but you have to be able to handle the first week and a half, two weeks when it's horrific, okay? When Pat Summit came to Villanova and I showed her this, I told her to her face, I said, I don't think you'll make it past the first week and a half, okay? But they have, and they've had some success with it, okay? Um, it's great for teams that have mobile players. I still think you can use um, bigger players in it, but it's really good for, for teams that have very mobile players. Um, you'll get a lot of threes, you'll get a lot of, you'll get a lot of, you'll get variety of shots. You know, in basketball, like, there's people who always say to me, like, uh, we're playing a game and, the, and, and someone will say, well, you're not getting enough layups. Or, and I say, well, don't you think the other team's trying to stop that? Or it, My point is that, you, as a coach, you have to try to get variety of shots. If you spend all your time getting one particular shot, you probably won't get enough of that shot and, and, and not enough of anything else to make it worthwhile. So you get, you know, the goal is to get a variety of shots. The goal is to get a good shot okay, on every possession. Okay? Two things that we do pretty well is we shoot the three well. We led the country the last two out of three years on threes made. We've led the country the last seven years on the least amount of turnovers. And we make the most amount of passes. But what you'll find in this, every pass is a simple pass. Like teams that turn the ball over a lot, 
the, like when you're trying to feed the post constantly, you're going to get the ball inside, but you're also going to turn it over because it's a more difficult pass. The passes that we throw in this offense are all sight to sight which mean that we always see the person clearly we're throwing the ball to. Very seldom do we have to make a skill pass. That's why I've, I've kind of like, I've never used the triangle offense because I don't, I think to make that successful you have to have skill passers, okay, because you're making a lot of different kind of passes, okay. This is an offense that's just simple, every pass is a simple sight to sight pass. Okay? Alright, first you start out in a 1-2-2. Two, two. You're always in a 1-2-2. Two, two. No matter what happens, you, you, you get in a 1-2-2. Two, two. So, first thing you have to learn is that's it. If somebody makes a mistake, it doesn't matter. Just fill a spot. Okay? If, you know, if I, once I show you how to do things, it, I'll say to you, all right, the two players are supposed to go here and the three is supposed to go there. Well, that's, that's what is supposed to happen. But if the two goes to where the three was supposed to go and the three goes to where the two is supposed to go, that's okay. It doesn't matter. Okay, just remember that. It doesn't matter. Okay? All right. Now, what does matter is we want to try to get spacing. Okay? You always want to try to keep spacing. Okay? That's important in this offense. If you don't start, if you, if, you, if you kind of drift too far down, drift down, drift over, it kind of starts screwing it up, okay? Everything you have to try to do on a straight angle, okay? Uh, curls or, or, or simple curls. Um, but what you want to do is stay in a one, two, two. All right, now, different ways to get open. You're starting a little tighter, we're a little too wide. Okay, starting a little tighter, okay. Just the simple ways of getting open, okay? Simple. You can, you can pin your player, one foot in the lane we teach, hand out, catch the ball, pass, that's it. Uh, pass right there. You can screen down if you want, pop out, catch the ball, pass the ball back. Stay right there. You can back screen, back screen, pop out, catch the ball, doesn't matter. Okay? The only thing that we teach differently at Villanova that most people will teach is that when we screen down, and teams switch it, we do not duck in. And when teams switch against us, we curl and replace. Okay? Reason is that over the years I've found that you go to clinics, they tell you to cheat, that don't just pop out, they switch, they tell the kid to duck in, they tell that kid to throw her the ball. Well, guess what? It's not that simple. Okay? If you did that ten times in a game, I don't think you could make that pass to there more than three times. Effectively. That's my own personal opinion after watching it over <clears throat> ten years. Keith probably could teach him how to do it. I can't. But that's alright. But my point is that I think that what I try to do is if you curl, you, you're curling into the switch person which takes them in this person switched, you already have her pinned, so when you backpedal out, that person will be open nine out of ten times. Okay, so my only concern is do something that works the majority of the time. Don't worry about something that works occasionally. Okay, like sometimes, you know, you'll, you'll see coaches in a game, well, run this play, and they don't, and they don't, it doesn't work. They're, run it again, run it again, run it again. Well, it works the fifth time. Yeah, I told you it would work, okay? But you lost the ball three out of the last, three out of the five possessions. So guess what? It doesn't matter, okay? It probably wasn't a good idea in the first place. So, and I've done that myself. You know, it's a great idea. My, my associate will say, guess what? We turned it over four out of five, genius. All right? So my point is that, do things that are effective. When you screen down, team switches, come on, switch, curl right into me. Pop out, make the pass, replace yourself, because we're always in a one, two, two, right? Okay, you can post, but we'll get to that later, okay? But remember, you're always in a one, two, two, all right? So now, that's the only thing that we really teach differently. All right, give the ball right there. Okay, now, the simplicity of this is a joke, okay? Um, the basic simplicity of the offense is basically comical, okay? And what it is, is it, it depends on how fast you can run it, how long you can run it, and how willing you are to run it, okay? So, but most teams are not willing to play defense for 25 to 27 seconds in a shot clock. And I know teams are not willing to play defense for 30, 35 seconds in a possession, okay? So the key is how willing are you to run it and how long are you willing to run it for, okay? This is the simplicity of the offense, okay? Make a pass. Either side. All right, pass gets made. All right, relax. 
It's a little delayed reaction by you there, okay? All right, now, pass is made. The first cut is a straight V cut right into the lane, looking for the ball. You're trying to beat your defender, okay? And you, it, it's actually comical how many times this person will be open in a game. Because you see how her reaction to the first pass was slow? Well, guess what? That same reaction goes to defenders, too. Kids hesitate. They turn their head. They don't jump to the ball side quick enough. So again, how fast you can attack them. So as soon as the ball is passed, this is the first attack move, okay? Now, if you don't get the ball, you're always taught to go away. Okay, so now if you don't get it right here, you'll begin to turn and go away. Now, stay right there. <clears throat> now, as that happens, the point guard is now going to go start the screen down. You're, you have to bring your player in. This is, important. this is an important point of emphasis. Bring your player in so the screen comes right around here. Now, that's the first point of emphasis. Take your player in. Okay? You're beginning to curl out at the same time. All right, now just stop right there. Okay? Now, that's the first point of emphasis, taking their player in. Second point of emphasis is you want to try to set this screen between the block. You don't want to go any higher than the third hash. I don't care anywhere in here, but the lower you set the screen, usually the better it is because it gives her more room to make decisions. Okay? All right. So that's the second point of emphasis, the screen being a little lower. Okay? Now, your job is to come off, and the basic offense is you go to the foul line. Now, when I say foul line, that means middle. Don't drift to the left. Don't, dr don't go too far to the right. Try to get to the middle of the floor. Okay? Ball's passed. Now, this is where the rules come in. The rules really don't make, make any difference, but these are the rules. All right? So now you're curling away. Now, the screener then will pop out and replace the wing. Uh, 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 come here. We teach this person to backpedal to the wing. Okay? Because that is faster. No, this, this is faster than it is to run there. Because when you catch the ball, you're always facing the basket. Why do we want you not to run? Because if you run... This person makes her cut. You may not turn fast enough to make this pass. I always want everybody looking to pass the ball. Because the quicker you're passing the ball, the quicker you're ready to pass, the more effective everything is. All right, so you backpedaled out. Go ahead. And you go and fill where? Okay. You don't have to go all the way to the corner. Short corner's fine. Okay? Now, what you learn is rolls. Sometimes you're short corner. Sometimes you're tighter. Sometimes you're over here. It doesn't really matter. Okay? All right, now the ball gets, step into Stani, but quickly reversed. As soon as that ball gets reversed, now this, this player is making the same exact cut. Into the lane. Now the other, I forgot to say this point of emphasis, break the plane. Break the plane of the basket. Why? Because we don't want players catching the ball here, throw the ball here, and then you shoot it, you hit underneath the rim, hits you in the head, goes out of bounds, okay? Because it's happened, I've seen it, okay? So now we teach you to break the plane. So now you can catch it and shoot it over the basket if you want, okay? Because our players will shoot it over a lot. All right, so now that's why we break the plane, okay? I'm a real confidence builder kind of coach, all right? So now when you come down here, then the next thing happens, you're bringing your player in, you're curling out, you're going directly to the foul lines, like Monopoly. You go directly to jail, you don't pass go. No, no, no like running over there to go there. Go directly to where you're supposed to go. Back pedal out, bang, make the pass, boom. You're cutting, you're taking your player in and up, you're curling, you're back pedaling, you're, you're attacking. Come on, reverse it quick. You're attacking, in and up, good. Back pedal out, good. Reverse it, attack, attack, go get her. Good, go up, directly to the foul line, reverse it quick, 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 you're too, too much fundamentals, too much fundamentals, Just catch it and throw it to her, good, that's it, good, come on, you, that's a girl, good, good, come on, quick, 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 good, 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 all right, now, all right, so now they have the basic cuts, all right, go ahead. Um, two questions, the, the aiming point for your first cutter. Aiming point. Well, you said you want to be on this side of the rim if the ball's here. You want to break the plane? That, I don't understand. Yeah, breaking the plane. Breaking the plane, okay. Are you sending them all the way to the square? Or they just... uh, no, what I teach, what I tell them is that when they break the plane, if they do not get the ball, then that's it. It's over. Just get out. Do you have a technique of you know, power layup and just 
just get it up there? Just, just score. Okay. Okay, that's what I said about fundamentals. Sometimes I don't want to get too carried away because the more you teach them, the less they learn. You know what I mean? So, like, some kids will jump stop. Some kids will, some kids like to do that. You know what I mean? Like, you know, just run and shoot it. I don't, I, I try not to overdo that. You know what I mean? Because what happens is then they're thinking too much. So I just want them to catch the ball and, and you know, wherever they are, they need to take a dribble, whatever they have to do. Is that, is that the second question? Okay, all right. So, so now, the, all right, come down, start, start, start at half court. All right, come down now. Let's do this. Everybody relax for a second. Start in a little tighter. Okay, now, let's start with a back screen. Dribble down, back screen. Back screen, good. Now, screener, pop out. Catch it. Now, go. Boom. Screen, in, up. Good. Pass. Good. Make your cut. Now, you guys keep doing this while I'm looking at the next thing to do. All right? Good. Keep doing it. Good. This is what we do at practice. Good. Back pedal. Out. Reverse ball. Start over. Up drives. Must break the plane. Turn this thing back. Okay. All right, good. Now, hold up now. Now, let's go through some mistakes that could be made. All right, start again. You handle the ball now. All right, calm down. Start, start in a box. You can start any way you want. You can start wide. We usually start up at the foul line extended. Right? We put, usually put our one foot right here. Okay? This is the way we usually start. Okay, now, let's start with a screen down. Hold up. Let's start with a screen down. Teams are going to switch. You guys are going to curl. Replace yourself, and the screeners are going to replace to the wing. Ready? Screen down. Curl. Replace. Now, as soon as the ball's passed, oh, yeah, a girl. Good. That's it. Good. Good. There you go. Okay, good. Now, stop right here. All right, stop, stop. Get over here. Go to the foul line. You're curling out. Now, here's, here's are some of the things that happen in a game. Say, for example, this girl is a little, she's, she doesn't get it real well. She's a little slow, nothing against you, all right? But she's not getting to her spot fast enough. And you realize that she's having a problem figuring out what to do. So what's her name? Liz. Liz. So you say, okay, Liz, I got here. So then what would Liz do? Just fill the spot. So it doesn't really matter. You see what I'm saying? If you make a mistake or one player picks up something faster than another, it doesn't matter. Okay? It's not insulting, it's not embarrassing. The seniors pull the freshmen. At practice, when we're at practice the first week, you see the seniors with their shirt grabbing the freshman's shirt like this. And on defense, they're pulling them to where they're supposed to go. Okay? So they're learning to do it quick. Okay? So if there's a mistake made there, boom, you just fill it. Say, for example, now, okay, she's the greatest. One of the greatest post players of all time, even though, how tall are you? 5'10". Um, but she's still the greatest post player of all time. So now, we want to get her the ball. She's real comfortable getting it here. Mm -hmm. So now, what would happen is, when every opportunity that she has to go out, she would say to you, hey, you know, I'm the best post player on the team, okay? So why don't you pop out? Why don't you reverse it, okay? Why don't you throw it to her? Why don't I post now? You start making your cut, and you see now when you get to hear that the greatest post player is posting, mm -hmm. okay? So what you would do then is say, I will break off my cut and go shallow cut, because we want to give you an opportunity to score. So you would just go down, and what would happen is, come on, you would almost wind up being a double screen while you're doing your thing on the, on the, on the strong side. You see what I'm saying? Okay, the ball would go there. As soon as the ball would get past there, exactly right. Reverse it, boom. Now, what we would do at practice is we would designate, as we move along, that uh, you're one of the great post players and uh, you're one of the great post players. So now, what I want you to do is start again. You're going to run the offense basic, but every single time, you guys are in an opportunity where you would pop out. I want you to tell your teammate to pop out, and I want you to post for a second. Now, our rule, I don't know what kind of rules, you, everybody can have their own rules. Our rules are simple. Give, you get the ball. If you're posting, and I go like this and do not give you the ball,
That means I'm not going to give it to you no matter how much you yell or jump up and down and I can't stand that in the game. If I'm not going to give it to you, just get out. Okay? Pump fake, get out. Or I'll just tell this person to say go. If they say go, get out. They're not giving you the ball. Alright? So now, who are the greatest post players? Who are the greatest post players? There and there. Okay, let's see if you guys can run the offense, but at the same time, not do that back pedal thing, but then post. All right, go ahead. Just, you can go a little slower. You don't have to kill yourself. Go ahead. All right, now hold up. Now, okay, what happened was, that's no problem. It's not a problem. She screened down late, right? So you just, you just go ahead. You make your move. Curl, go ahead. Screen. All right, there's the greatest post player. What's she? Add a girl. Good, look at her. Come on, do your thing. Go. Do your thing. Okay, keep doing it. Come on. Keep going. Keep going. Screen. Go up. So here we go. Oh, she took it. That's all right. Good. Good. Now, what would you do here? Hold up. Hold up. You got two of the greatest post players here now, right? All right. Now, wait a minute. Wait a second. All right. Now, here's what happened here. You started to curl out. Now, come on. Come on over here. Just relax. You started to curl out. She decided she wanted to post, which was fine. Okay. You, could, you should have just went what? And went right up. Now, come here. If you decide that you don't want to do it, then what you do is as you curl out, just push her out. And then you take that spot. You see what I'm saying? You can do whatever you want. Okay, all right, continue from there. Pass. Tell her to go. Go. Tell her to go. Get out. Keep playing. Fill it. Go ahead. Fill it. Just fill it. Don't worry about it. Don't panic. Good. 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 You should have posted. Go ahead. Go ahead. She's going to post. Well, she's going to post. Fill the spot. Tell her to go. Go. All right, good. Now remember, when we're doing this, Everything we do at Villanova, we run to infinity, which means that nothing ever works. Okay, no matter what play I show them, nothing ever works, so they run it to infinity. Why? Because I want you to always understand, never stop playing. Okay, all right, that's enough of that. All right, where are we at now? All right, now we'll go through the options, the different options. The first one is the back door option. Okay, all right, start again. All right, now. These are the options. All right, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Don't even hesitate. It doesn't matter. All right. Ver visual communication. All right. Now, so dribble up. Go ahead. Start. What are you going to do? All right. Go ahead. Make your cut. Now stop. All right. Now, here's when the options start. You set the screen. This is why we want you to run on straight lines, not loop. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now you're coming up. You're curling out. Now teams will start doing different things. They'll start overplaying. Okay? Anytime you're overplayed, you, you fake, you go back to her. Now, stay there, stay there, stay there. Okay, she went up, she backed to her. We tell our players to call everything because you can't really see what's going on. You see what I'm saying? Okay, just pretend you're still there. Everything's done in slow motion. Come on over here. I'm doing this in slow motion. You're screening her. You're slowly walking out, slowly. Okay? Now, you are doing what? You yell, back door. So now she heard you. You see? Go ahead, do your back door thing. Back door. Back door. Don't go too fast. You make me nervous. All right. So now she hears you, okay? So she knows that you went back door. She doesn't have to see you. She knows it. If you don't get it, you start always curling away. We teach this player to replace themselves, back pedal and replace themselves. So now what would happen? Correct. You would fill it, you would fill that spot, pass her the ball, make your go ahead, make your pass, make your cut. Here comes the screen, back door, back door. Uh uh, she went too early. You gotta read what's going on, right? Come on, back door, replace, come on, replace. Now the way. Pass the ball. Now run it regular. Go ahead. Screen. Come up and catch it. Come up and catch it. Reverse. All right, reverse. Go, go screen. Call back door. Call back door. Uh, hold it, hold it, hold it. Okay. It's English, all right? Speak a couple languages? All right. Back door, say. Back door. Good, very good. I won't make you spell it. All right, start again. Start again. Start again. Doesn't matter. All right, now we're going to start regular. No back door. Go ahead, play. Hit, cut, screen, go to the foul line. Good, catch it, reverse it. Good, screen, back door, back door, back door, back door, replace, 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 reverse it, reverse it, regular, 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 keep catching, catch it, reverse it, reverse it, reverse it, yeah, yeah, back door, back door, back door, back door, back door, no, 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 tell her, give her the ball, tell her, back door, back door, good, fill it, reverse it, reverse it, regular, regular, call for the ball, 
Ball, you want it? Call ball. Come on, come on, come on. Back door, back door, back door, back door, back door, back door. Replace. Revert. Add it, girl. Stop. Good. That's it. Very good. Remember, if you want the ball, call for the ball. Ball. Okay. It's easy. Back door, back call it. Back door. Okay? So now you're communicating. We talked about this today. You've got to communicate to the passer. I'm not even as interested in what you do. I'm interested in the passer knowing what you're doing. Because why do we lead the country in least amount of turnovers? Because we're communicating to her. That's the most important person to tell. Because if you, first, what happened the first time was a girl goes back door, she passes the ball, the ball goes out of bounds. Which happens a lot, okay? <coughs> so you want to communicate because when you, if you go back door, you're already beating your kid, so it doesn't matter. You see what I'm saying? All right, so now that's the back door option. Okay, let's walk through it this time. Let's walk through it one time. Walk. Gads, girl, good. Up, now call it. Back door, break the plane. You didn't break the plane, stop. Now, make sure you break the plane, right? Back door, try to score. It's the same thing as the cut, okay? So that's the, all right. Now, just uh, somebody else take the point. Doesn't matter, just take the point. Okay, same thing now, walk through it. Pass, walk, 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 take it easy. Go ahead, call it. Now, uh, uh, back door, break the plane. All right, start, start again, start again, start again, start again. Start again. She's all right, you went too fast too. You, you slow down a little bit. Go ahead, pass the ball. Pass the ball, walk. Set the screen. Now curl out, call it. Back door, fill. Fill, fill. Got it? Go ahead, walk. Walk, regular. Go ahead, walk up there. Call for the ball. Pop out, good. Regular, reverse it. Come on, walk. Screen, in, now call it. Back to her, break the plane. You didn't break the plane, good, stop. Okay? So what happens is, you're forcing the defense to make multiple decisions. Multiple decisions. And you're banking on that they can't make multiple decisions as fast as you can make decisions on offense. You see what I'm saying? A lot of times when we run this first half, it won't be very effective. And then all of a sudden, with 10 minutes to go in the game, it becomes very effective. Why? Because you're fatiguing. You're wearing down your opponents. They're getting aggravated guarding you. You know what I'm saying? They start to make mental errors. You see what I'm saying? That's why what I told you before, we don't play necessarily fast from baseline to baseline, but I want to know who plays faster than that once we start playing. You know, multiple passes. The only team that passes the ball a lot in the half court is Princeton, and they don't run this many cuts because I've watched it and timed it. Okay? The difference between this and the Princeton is this is a more tighter. It's more tighter. It brings pressure on the defense on every single pass. Any pass made in this offense is a potential shot if you don't guard it. So therefore, the more pressure you put on the defense, the hopefully the more inclined they'll make an error. Okay? All right. So that's the back. That's the back door. The re the keys are you break the plane. That's a point of emphasis. Okay? The, the other point of emphasis is the, the the person here when they hear the back door is you have to replace back pedal to the middle. Those are the points of emphasis. Okay? All right, you guys are doing really well. Okay? All right, now, what's the next one? Curl. Okay. The curl option. Same thing. All right, make a pass. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Start back screen. Back screen to start. Back screen. Back screen. Good. Pop out. Good. Now, cut. Right? And always remember that cut. Now, whoa, 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 whoa. Walk. Okay, now, now we do the curl option. Defenders behind you. This is the curl option you get a lot, actually. Okay, so defenders will start trailing the play. Okay, so now it's the same concept. If they if they trail the play, it's a curl. Yell curl. As soon as you hear the curl, you replace. You don't get it. Infinity. Okay, boom. Make reverse it. Reverse it. We'll run it regular. Call ball this time. Ball, ball. Good. Reverse it. Come on now. Curl. 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 Replace. Reverse. 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 Regular. 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 Good. Keep running it. Regular. Come on. Regular. In and up. Regular. 
Regular, regular, reverse it, reverse it. Good, screen, curl, 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 curl. Replace, replace, replace. Good, reverse it, reverse it. Good, regular, 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 give it to her. Good, get it, give it a ball, give it a ball. Good, good, die. Good, die, die. come screen, screen, screen. Go ahead, go, go, back to her, 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 back to her. Replace, replace, reverse it. Good, reverse it, good, come on, die. Good. Curl, 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 reverse. Yo, where are you going? Over there, good, that's it, good, stop. All right, good. Now, my point is, that's, that's the way I teach it. I'll literally stand there the first three or four days of practice. I told you about the chloroseptic, okay? That's why I spray the chloroseptic in my throat the first three or four days of practice. Because this is what I do the first three or four days of practice. This is how they learn, okay? I'm yelling it, they do it, but yeah, 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 okay? All right, so now that's how they learn the concept, okay? Trial and error, throw them out there, tell them what to do. Okay? Now, that's, now, that's the curl option. Okay? All right, let's walk through it again. Ready? Pass. Reverse it. You gotta reverse it, you gotta reverse it. You made a mistake, you gotta keep playing. You gotta, you gotta pass it to somebody. Good, hold it. Here's what happened. She passed her the ball. Okay, she passed her the ball. Why did you, why did you attack? Give her the ball. Why did you attack? Because you want a little brain dead. All right, my point was, relax, relax, relax. Give her the ball. Relax. She made a mistake. Fill the spot. Go fill the spot. Now make a pass. Doesn't matter. Go ahead. Good. Now you're curling. Now you're curling. Curl. Okay. Now hold up one second. Now you see the mistake you're making. Yeah. You're going like you're going over there to go over there, right? Get there as quick as you can because I'm telling you, I will tell them, I'll, I'll tell them to curl only because I know that the defender's sleeping and I know that this person will get a shot. Like for example, who's the best shooter? Okay. Well, she's been bringing the ball up for the 10 minutes. Now I'm going to tell you to bring the ball up. Okay. I'll say, I'll say you, whatever your name is, you bring it up, run the curl move. Go ahead. Good. We're running the curl move. I, I, I said the curl move. No. Okay, run again. Uh, hold up. You're not thinking the way I am. Give her the ball. Why am I running the curl move? Give her the ball. Give her the ball. Good. You dribble it up. Why am I running the curl move with her handling the ball? Why? What do I want? Who do I want to shoot it? Correct. And how am I getting her open? By curling somebody off and she gets the replace shot. Okay? What will happen is over time you'll be thinking exactly the way I'm thinking. Okay? Then you need to get psychiatric help. Go ahead. Hit it. Pass it. Good. Curl. Curl. Good. That's the shot we're looking for right there. That's the shot we're looking for, right there. Good, good. See, now, now we don't want infinity. I want a specific shot. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay, now, so, so that's why we can change it up as we're playing. As we're playing the game, we can put different people in different spots to get specific shots. Okay. You see what I'm saying? You know, next time down, I may let her bring it up. And I may run a backdoor play just to see if we can get her a jump shot. Okay, all right, now this is what I want. This is what I want. I want uh, you to bring it up this time. Okay. Now, I, I'm calling from the bench. I want you to run spread post. What's your name? Liz. Liz, I want you to run spread post. We're now, who are we trying to get the ball to? You. Okay. Pass. Spread post. Exactly right. That's what I want. See? So now I can communicate to them without calling timeout. I can tell them what I want them to do and I do not disrupt the flow of the game. Okay? Just to give everyone an idea of how you can control the game the way you want to do it. Okay? Alright, so now we did curl, we did we did backdoor, we did curl. Alright, what's next? Now oh, the water's coming. I like it. I like how the water appeared. Alright, what's next? Cur flare? Alright, flare. This looks good on paper, but I don't like it. Alright. <laughs> Pat Summons, she loved this for some reason. It's a great clinic. Alright, relax. Alright. You uh, you take her spot. You handle the ball. Alright, we're gonna come down, pop out, pass the ball this side. Stop. Alright now, make your cut. Okay, now go and screen like you normally do. Everything's normal. Relax now. Stop, relax. Okay? Now, what happens is defenders start, they play behind you, you curl them a couple times. Okay. Now they start doing what? 
they start going on the inside to cut you off. Right. So now you're doing your move, you're going away from the ball like you would. Now the flare move comes, which is you yell flare, you flare. Now you fill that spot. Okay, now, there's different ways, there's two different ways to run this. Depending on what you want to do, it's up to you. Okay? The pass is made. You basically push her when you flare. Okay, make the pass. Push her, she would go, you would go out, she would come up, diagonal up screen, go ahead, replace, replace, replace. That's one way to run. Okay? Go back to where you're flaring. Everybody go back to that spot. Okay? Just go back out. Yeah, you're there, you're curling out. Now, the other way is flare, skip, just replace. It's your preference, whatever you think you like. Okay? I found that that move is kind of slow and it disrupts the quickness of the offense. It's, it's kind of effective. You'll get it once in a while because what will happen is this defender will be like this and when the ball is skipped, if she comes up fast enough, this kid doesn't get weak side help fast enough, you can kind of get this. But what I saw in games is that it slows down the offense. I'm, I'm all, all about how fast we can run it. So I use this move. The ball gets skipped. And what, now, this is why we use this move. I'm you, right? Or I'm, I'm the defender. Ball, you, yeah, you guys get in your spots. Now, I'm guarding you. All right, do your flare thing over there. Go ahead, skip it, and just go. You see, I think you get that more. I think if you did it 10 times, I think you get this cutter more than you get that back screen person because the defender has their hand up. When the ball gets skipped, you're basically going immediately. You see what I'm saying? So I think you might get this cutter more than that. That's why we run that. But that, whatever one you want is fine. Passer have to dribble on air. Yeah, where they catch it. Like a lot of this isn't a perfect science, and they're allowed to dribble. Even though in this offense you see them, they don't dribble. I'll get to that. Like for example, if um, okay, you catch the ball, run regular, pass the ball, make your cut. Okay, now hold up. You like to drift, right? Okay, we'll drift a little bit this time for me. Drift right over there. That a girl. Catch it right there. Pass her the ball. Well, if this happens in a game, I tell them to immediately get the ball in the middle of the floor. So you can dribble it. To, you can dribble for different reasons. One is to even it out, and the other is to take the ball to the hoop, because people think we never drive the ball. Okay, we'll get to that. So that's when you can dribble. If the ball is passed a little lower, and they flare, well, then you need to, if you caught the ball here, now you, yeah, you do your normal stuff. Run it regular. If you caught it here, they're running it. Go ahead, run it regular. I would tell them to take a dribble up so they're in position to pass the ball. Okay? All right. You guys are all right? You're not killing, you're killing yourselves over there. All right. So now, what's next? I'm a little carried away here. All right, corner move. All right? Now, start again. Now, okay, let's start. Pop out. Now, pass anywhere, stop. Now, what we tell people, people say to me, well, now, th what happens in games, you're going to find is her defender will begin to cheat to take these cuts away, okay? So what we do is we have a corner move. All right, you guys just in slow motion walk through your stuff. Well, I'm slow, slow, super slow motion. a girl. Good. Now, so while that's happening, the ball goes to the corner. Keep, keep, I'm watching you guys. So now, if the ball goes corner, what we do is backdoor cut. You then dribble attack. Now, if you can't get it to the hoop, then you kick it. Reverse it, and then you start again. Notice how I'm going super slow motion, right? Okay. So now, go ahead. Ball goes corner. Dive. Attack, you guys find your way there. There you go, good. So, and what you'll find is that a lot of times you'll get this back door rarely, but what you'll get is when you dive, give her the ball. Give her the ball. You guys just freeze. Hit the corner, dive hard. 
you'll get this drive into the lane. And, and then if, you, if, you, if she just beats her a little bit, what you get is the help from the weak side. And this is where we tell our players if there's a drive situation, you break off what you're doing and step back. Because this is how we get most of our threes on dribble penetration kicks. Okay? If you're a medium range shooter, you might want to step in. Okay? Now, there's also times in a game where I will call spread corners specifically because I want you to drive the ball. Okay? I'm going to call spread corners for her. Okay? Now, in the spread corner situation, you guys don't do anything. You stay where you're at. Hit, hit the corner, dive. We're looking for dribble, attack, help, and kick. Okay? But if it happens during the course of the game, you guys don't know it's going to happen. So you just do your thing. But as soon as you see the ball go corner and her start to drive, you start to step back and open up the lane. Okay? That's the corner move. All right, let's walk through it again. You guys do your thing on the weak side. You guys throw the ball to the corner. Ready? Pass. Here we go. Hit the corner. Okay, dribble it in. Dribble, attack. Good. Kick it out. Good. Keep playing. Reverse it. Reverse it. Good. Do your thing. Hit the corner. Hit the corner. Dive. <coughs> you got to find your way. Just find your way. You're, you're screwing up over here, but just find your way. Good. Good. There you go. Reverse it. Good. Reverse it. Hit the corner. Good. Hit the corner. Hit the corner. Good. Find your way. Find your way. Good. All right. Stop. Good. Just find your way. You see what I'm saying? Okay. The other things are you can do straight pass and straight basket cut. Don't give it to her. What, what do you do? Fill. If I overplay you, what are you going to do? You're going to fill. Okay? You can do that. All right. Now comes the moment of truth. All right? Now we're going to have you guys run it. I'm going to stand here and yell at you. Okay? And we're going to see if you screw up, just, you know, whatever. All right, here we go. Down screen, curl, and replace. Down screen, down screen, down screen. Curl, replace. Curl, replace. Curl, replace. Curl, curl, cut, cut, cut. You screwed up. Good, play. Don't stop. Play. Just play. Good. There you go. In and up. Good. Good. Reverse it. Good. In and up. In and up. What do you, you want the ball? Call for it. Call, call for it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. It's too slow. Good, curl. Curl. Yeah. Good, good ball. Come on, come on, come on. Quickly. Good. Curl, 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 curl. Replace. Replace. Reverse. Reverse. Hit the corner. Hit the corner. Hit the corner. Keep playing. Good. Step up in the middle. Good. Reverse it. Reverse it. Run the regular. Regular. Call for the ball. Call for the ball. Good. Good. Reverse it. Reverse it. Reverse it. Reverse it. Reverse it. Back door. Back door. All right, good. Pick it up. Dive. Dive. You gotta keep playing. You gotta keep playing. Good. Hit her. Hit her. Hit her. Dive. That's it. Back door. Back door. Back door. Back door. Back door. Replace. Good. Reverse. 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 Screen. Flare. 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 Good. Re replace. Replace. Good. Hit the. Uh, reverse it. Reverse it. Dive. Dive. Hit the corner. Hit the corner. That's it. Keep going. That a girl. Get over here. Good. That's it. Stop. All right. That wasn't too bad. Okay. So now, believe me, it's not too bad after about a half hour. Okay. That's actually pretty good for half hour. Now. Here are the things I want to show you that you'll start seeing. Give her the ball. Did you notice? Number one, ball gets passed. Did you, you make your cut. Did you see how this screen started to start being a lot higher? So this is the first thing you'll see a lot. The screen starts getting up here instead of down here. So you've got to emphasize that. Okay? The other things you've got to emphasize is, for example, start here. Come over here because they don't know it real well, they start looping to their positions. You caught the ball over here once. Mm -hmm. you, you know, you, you were drifting, okay? My point is those are the things you look for when you're coaching them. You see the screens are starting higher. You see that they're not running directly to where they're going, okay? That's what you look for, okay? Now, any questions about this specifically? Go ahead. I try to keep it right outside the three-point line or inside of it. On the reverse. Oh, oh, on the reverse. Okay, role playing. For example, if she's not a good three-point shooter, I want her to catch it inside. Inside. Good. If she's if she's popping out, I I will tell, I want to emphasize to her. I want you to catch it behind the three-point line because you will be amazed at how many pass, shots you'll get on the reversal. Because what will happen is teams begin to cheat inwardly. You see what I'm saying? So when the ball gets reversed, that's why I'm always screaming reverse it quick. 
Because what happens is if you reverse it quick, she may be able to get a three off, or she may be able to get a two off. Okay? So it's role playing. Whoever, whatever their particular role is, then I ask them to do that. You send everyone to the boards on the offensive board? I send like one or two people. I'm not real big on sending a lot of people to the boards. Uh, what we get on this is long rebounds anyhow. You see what I'm saying? We don't get traditional rebounds. Traditional rebounds to me are ones that hit the rim, bounce over here, but we don't get those. Okay, we can't get them, we're not big enough anyhow, so it doesn't matter. What, so what we do is, we actually teach players, we do, one of the drills we do is shot, follow, try to anticipate where the ball is going to bounce. We do that drill. We get a lot of bounce outs, we get a lot of this. Tip the ball back out, we get a lot of that kind of stuff. Since you're doing back and out and catching all the time, that's what most kids don't do a lot. They don't want to reset. They want to run to the ball, right? So what do your shooting drills look like? You start in the I'll show you that at the end. Okay, um, we do a lot of shooting drills with, we, we teach hop step. So we teach, like if a person's backpedaling, we teach this. We teach this if the ball's coming from this side. We teach, we teach them always when they hit the floor, always be facing the basket, ready to pass or shoot. Okay, but I'll show you that at the end. Any other questions about the basic? At the end of the game, people start trapping you. Do anything different? Do you okay, that's a good question. Anytime there's a trap, for example, ball. If you pass the ball, this is why you always have to be paying attention. Pass the ball. If your player leaves you, anytime your player leaves you, you up totally, which you would pass it that way? That's great for me. I, I left. Anytime your player leaves you, you automatically break off the, the, the spread. We break it off. We teach our players that if the ball is passed, and a defender leaves you, you step back, everybody steps back because teams will rotate. Okay? So what we teach our players is shorten the distance of the pass quicker than they can run to cut off. So you would step over, you would reverse it, we would reverse the ball and shoot it faster than they could rotate on defense. So that's what we do when teams trap us. Then we'll reverse the ball, either shoot it or attack. So you just stay spread and try to go by. Correct. We use the pass, we, we use a quick reversal, then we attack them from the weak side where they've rotated. Can we have, can we have th uh, three defenders? Hurry up, three white shirts. Get up there. Guard those three people here. Guard those three people there. Give me a fourth one, two. Give her the ball. All right, now, pass the ball either way. Now, in, in a game situation, she would double. Now, you would start, you would pass the ball, give her the ball, you're here, pass the ball, and as soon as you see her leave you, go ahead, leave and double. You would step to the ball, step back, come on, reverse it, and then we would attack from here. Opposite wing? We, we don't, because we're looking to shoot a three and then dribble drive. But we would reverse it quickly, and then I would tell these players on the weak side, either shoot the three or attack, attack, get it by them. Now the help comes, now we pass it. So that's one of the hardest things. We drill that. And we teach our players, like in practice on defense, I won't tell the defense, but they'll have the option of leaving and doubling so they learn the concept. Even if the ball was there, even if the ball was there and the ball went here, double. What would you do? You would step back immediately. Reverse it immediately. Then you guys attack from the weak side. You see what I'm saying? Because what happens is, if you step back and towards the ball, they can't rotate fast enough. So then when you catch it, if she's guarded, then you skip it. So that's what we teach. And if we have the lead, if we have the lead, like Keith was saying, you start trapping us out of this, this is, then we just spread you out even more. Okay? Teams don't trap us a lot. Any other questions about the basic patterns? And I'll, and I'll do all the breakdown drills. How am I on time? Am I okay, Keith? Yeah, you got about 15, 20 minutes. Okay. Okay, if you have a mismatch and you want to one-on-one. Uh, -on -one, Take it one-on-one? -on -one? Yeah, do you, what do you do out of it? How do you set it up? Well, got the ball here. We like to set it up with the corner move. The person that you want to take it, we'll, we'll, we'll run spread corners for, uh, say, say, say you're guarding her, okay? Just guard over there for a second. And, and there's the mismatch. 
So I'll say runs. What's your name? Tabby. Tabby. Abby. Abby. Okay, good. Uh, run spread corners for Abby. Pass. Hit the corner. Dive. 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 No, 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 no. Relax. Then double. You stay right here, and you take it one on one. Okay. Now the other thing I want to say, because since you said that, is that teams will begin to switch on you on this. Okay. So what we teach our players is at practice we do spread drives, and what it is is give me five defenders. Okay. I want you guys to run the spread just normal, and then the defenders will begin to run at you. They'll begin to run at you. So spread drives is I tell the kids make four or five passes and look to dribble drive and kick it. Okay. okay, let's see if you guys can do that. Here we go, play. Cut, good, screen, good, keep running it, good, good, look in the drive anytime you can, good, look in the drive anytime you can, good, good, there you go, good, we'll take a shot if we get it, good, there you go, keep playing, keep playing, look to drive it. <clears throat> now you got to be willing to drive it. If, the, if she cuts that off, see her cut that pass off, what should you have done? Back door, replace. Okay, come on, here we go, pass. Ready? It's corner, 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 dive, dive, take it one on one, hard. There you go, hit it. Good, there you go, good. Now see the replace person got open on that. Off the dribble drive. So that's what we do on the spread drives. Do you ever isolate? We do, but we, we don't do it out of this. We do it out of, we, drib, we do a, like a pro isolation. Three people, one post, here, straight one on one. So we don't, we don't do it out of this. The corner move we do out of this, and the dribble drives we do on switches. Okay, let me take two or three minutes now. The red team, I want you to run the spread. I want you to try to score now. You're trying to score. I want you to use the curls, the back doors, the flares, whatever. Okay, ready? Hold up. Let's start down. Screen down, curl, replace. Screen down, screen down, screen down. Curl, 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 replace, replace. Good, there you go. Play, cut! Too slow. Good. Here, give it a ball. Give it to her. All right, die. Should I give it to her? Give it to her. Quick reverse. Quick, quick, quick. Give it to her. Give it to her. Give it to her. Pop up. Good. Screener. Screener. Good. Give it to her. Give it to her. Good. Here you go. Reverse it. Step up. Step up. Quick, quick. Good. Curl. Curvy curl. Give me a curl. Give me a curl. There you go. Good. That a girl. Good. All right. Now, if you get it there, you go one dribble layup, too. Okay. Here we go. Run it again. Start again. Start again. Hold up. Relax. Start again. Back screen. Back screen. Back screen. Back screen. Pop out. Hit her. Good. Dive. Dive. It's too slow. Good. Break the plane. Good. Give it to her. Good. Reverse it quick. Good. Look to score. Look to score. Attack hard. Attack her. There you go. Good. That's it. Good. Attack her hard. If you're going to attack, I want you to attack them hard. Ready? Play. Play. Give it a ball. Good. Cut hard. Oh, my God. Give it to her. Give it to her. Good. They're switching. Good. Good. Here we go. Good. There you go. Switch. Good. Don't panic. Don't panic. Don't panic. Don't panic. Get some curls, get some flares. Now the last thing which I didn't teach them, which I should have, catch the ball there. Okay, make your dive cut. Okay, come on down. Okay, curl out. Now, see they're switching now? Go ahead, switch. Switch. Okay. Okay, we run that too. Okay? I didn't teach them that, but that's okay. You can do it if you want. Alright? That's the last option. Okay, get it a little tighter, a little slower, set the screens. Run your players off the screen. Here we go. Pass. Quick cut. Quick, quick. Set the screen on. Oh, get a duck in. Hold up now. See what's happening there? She's stopping you from catching it. You're hesitating. You're not going back door. Go back door. Come on. Don't be afraid. Go back door. Don't be afraid. Here we go. Good. Switch, switch. Back door, back door, back door, back door, back door. Come on. Got a back door. Switch. Back door, back door, back door, back door. There she is. Good. There you go. Good. See, kids don't want to go back door. They just don't want to do it. So you have to force them to do it. Okay? All right, here we go. See if you can run the flare move. Hold up. You start low. Start low. See if we can run the flare move. Pass the ball there. Pass the ball there. Pass the ball there. Come on. Pass the ball there. Dive. Dive. No, no, you got to dive. Flare. Skip it. All right, good. Keep running. Don't panic. Just run it. Anything you want. Good. There you go. Give it to her. Oh, nice. Pick it up. Now, you didn't yell to her, right? Did you? Hold it. Hold it. Kind of very loud. Okay, well, my point is that's what we're trying to get away from. You must let her know what you want. Because that's the pass I'm talking about, right? Yeah. Come on, here we go. Just run it. Just play. Just fill a spot and start playing. Good. Here we go. Good. Reverse it. Good. Pug it. Good. There you go. Try at it, girl. Good. Hold up. That's not bad. Now, the difference is you guys are running it so fast, you have to slow down a little bit because you're not setting any screens. 
You got to run your players off the screens. Now let's see if we can get some post up. Let's see if you can post a little bit. What's your name? Try to like post once in a while. Remember what I showed you when it's your turn to screen? Go ahead. Here we go. Go ahead. Keep passing. Don't panic. If you don't have a shot, just keep playing. Look the other way. Look the other way. It's okay. It's okay. All right. We, fill it out. Fill it out. You're okay. Don't panic. Give it to her. Good. Don't panic. Keep playing. Good. Here she comes. Back door. Oh, you got a back door once in a while. Come on. Keep playing. Come on. Come on. Come on. Back door. Back door. Back door. Back door. Back door. Good. Keep playing. Kick it out. Kick it out. Don't panic. Kick it out. Go get it. Go get it. Start again. Start again. Dribble out. Dribble out. Start again. Go ahead. Go ahead. Play. Go ahead. Go ahead. Start playing. Don't worry about it. Just keep playing. There you go. Good. There you go. Kick it out. Kick it. There you go. Good. That's a nice play. Good. Don't panic. Don't panic. That's the whole key. Don't panic. Here, I'll say that during a game a hundred times. Don't panic. Play. Don't panic. Just play. Go ahead. Come on. Wait for the screen. Wait for the screen. Go. Back door. Go ahead. Kick it out. Start again. Start again. Start again. Go ahead. Keep playing. Set the screen. Back door. Good. Nice duck in. You got it back. That's a nice drive. That's okay. That was a good kick there. All right. You still, still, I just have the whites off. Let me three, three reds only. Okay, whites off, three reds. All right. Ball. What you're seeing is, number one, they don't ever want to go back door. They just don't want to do it. So you have to do drills to make them do it, okay? Let me have the three red shirts over there, just for now, real quick. Give me one person. To, give me two, uh, two people over here. Hurry up. Just two. All right. You're the coach, okay? And uh, give her, get another ball, just give it to her. Get over there. You get another ball and get over there. That's it. Good. So now, what you have to do is you do drills to teach them. Backdoor drill. In, up, backdoor, give her the ball. Next person. Next person. No, no. You, you give her. Hold up. Relax. Relax. Give her the ball. Good. You give her the ball. Now the next person goes. In, up, backdoor. Break the plane. Give her the ball. In, up, backdoor. Break the plane. In, up, backdoor. Break the plane. That's it. Keep going. In, up, backdoor. Good. In, up, back door. Good. In, up, back door. Okay, hold up now. Let's go in and up now. Straight in and up. Now, this is where we talk about the hop move, okay? Now, when we go in and up, we go in, up, ball. We hop, catch, shoot. Okay? That's what we want to teach, okay? Okay, you're ready. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. Passer's not ready. Start again. Here we go. In, up, hop, shot. Get the rebound, throw it to the corner person. Good, there you go. Slow down a little bit. Wait for the passer to be ready. Good, wait for the passer to be ready. In, up, catch, shoot. Wait for the passer. In, call ball. Call, call, ball. Call ball before she throws it to you. Ball. Good, stop, good. Now, ball there. Okay, now, in, curl. Ready? Curl, just curl, give it to her. Lay it up. Good. Next person. Curl. Good. Next person. Come on. Here we go. Wait for the passer. Curl. Here we go. Wait for the passer. Curl. All right. Stop. Good. Ready? Next move. In. Flare. Flare. Give it to her. Shot. Go get your own rebound. Good. Here we go. Go get. Oh, wait for the. Wait for them to complete the play. Wait for her. Whoa. 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 Wait for her to complete the play. Okay. Because you're gonna run into each other. Ready? In. Flare. Wait for her to complete. Complete the play. Go get the ball. Now she's completed. Now the next person. Good. Wait. Good. Wait. Here we go. In. Good. Flare. Good. Stop. Good. All right. So that's that's the breakdown of the cuts. Okay? That's how we break down the cuts. Now, I found the best way to teach it to them is let's have you three here. Come on out here. Let me have three whites, three white shirts. I'm the coach. Unfortunately. All right, you guard them. Okay, you guard them. You guys are going to play spread on that side of the court. You're going to play spread. Relax now. You're going to play spread on that side. Now, you're too wide to start. There we go. Move in a little tighter. Now, just remember now. Relax. Remember. Instead of reversing now, when I throw the ball to somebody, instead of reversing, you're going to throw it back to me. You guys are just going to do spread on that side of the court. Now, make your cuts. Wait for the screens. If they switch, backdoor them. Don't hesitate. Backdoor them. Replace. 
You can hit the corner, you can flare, you can drive. Okay, let's do regular first. Here we go. Good. Good, good. There you go. Right back to me. Fake, fake. No, no, fake. Ah, oh, okay, good, good, good. Right in the corner move. I'm sorry. Come on. Over here, we gotta run the offense. Over here. Good, here we go. <coughs> good, there you go. Good. Good, corner, corner. All right, throw it back. That's all right. Come on, here we go. Good, here we go. Wait for the screen. Good, there you go. Come on, no, no. I want you to come out and catch it. Come out and catch it. We're trying to show them the regular. Come on. I want you to call ball, come out and catch it. Here we go. Come on, cut, cut. No, 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 no. Start again, start again. You're supposed to cut. You didn't cut. Start on the wing. Make your cut. Here we go. Hard. There you go. Call for it. Go ahead. Fade. Good, good. There you go. Throw it back. Cut. Good. Good. There you go. Good. There you go. Good. Corner move. Attack. Kick it. Kick it. Cut. 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 Come on. Screen. Screener. Good. All right. Hold up. All right. All right. Good. Good. Now, let's, now you can do whatever you want. Read it. Okay. Read it. I want to see curls. I want to see back doors. See, let me tell you something else. Did you watch her last time? You started cutting on the cut. You gave up on it. You got to here and you gave up. She was right here when you gave up on the cut. If you would have went one step farther, you could have got in front of her and got a layup. Don't give up on it. Hold up. If they bump you, if you start cutting and they bump you high, go low. You see what I'm saying? I'm not about, you, know, you see in games how people are fighting each other. If they, if they force you that way, just go. That's what I tell my kids. Don't fight. Here we go. Anything you want, play. Call what you want. That's a good cut. Back door, good. Replace. All right, you should have, hold up now. She went back door, you should have replaced middle. If you replaced middle there, you would have got a shot. I didn't call it. That's all right, come on. Play. Call it, loud. What do you want? Back door, good. There you go, good. Anything you want, corner. All right, come on, keep playing. Good, nice. Dribble middle. Good, dribble drive. That's okay. Good, okay, there you get a dribble drive. Just go on this side of the floor. Give me three different reds. Give me the three other reds. Oh. Okay. Go ahead, here we go. Ready? Anything you want, play. No, 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 you gotta go my way. My way, here we go. Good, there you go, good. Good, good, dive, dive, take it. Take it one on one, take it. Good, there you go, take it, kick it. Dive. Cut, 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 oh, you see it, hold up. You see what happened there? As soon as you pass the ball, you hit the floor. What did you do? You went, you stopped. If you would have kept going, you would have had a layup. That's my whole point. Attack them. Attack them. You'll hear me say the word attack a hundred times a game. Attack. Attack. Attack them. Good. Attack them. That a girl. Good. Back door. Good. Replace. Good. There you go. Step up. Good. Attack them. Dribble drive. Kick it. Kick it. There you go. Attack them. Attack them. You should have attacked them. Good. 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 Replace. There you go. You're okay. Kick it back. Kick it back. Good. Good. Go back to me. Dive. 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 Dribble. Dribble. Keep going. Kick it. Kick it. There you go. You see? That's what you would have got last time. You see what I'm saying? Okay? That's the best way to teach them. Break it down that way. Okay? And then what you could do is give me three reds with no, no, uh, no white. Okay? Here's the other way. Pass to me. Here we go. Ready? Play. Regular. Regular. Fake it, throw it back, throw it back, throw it back. Good, die, good, curl, 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 curl. Replace, replace, replace. You made a mistake, keep playing, throw it back, 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 throw it back. Good, good. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Back door, back door, back door, back door, replace. Good, throw it back, throw it back, good, play, play, good, good, back door, back door, back door, back door. Stop, stop. Everybody rotate a position. Quick, quick, rotate, rotate. Throw the ball to me, throw the ball to me. Good, die, curl, 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 curl. Good. That's it. Good. Stop. That's how they learn. Uh, obviously, these kids have picked up on it pretty good. Now you've got them to this point. It looks to me like you're going to spend a lot of time scrimmaging. A lot of time scrimmaging. Court. We do a lot of half-court scrimmaging. Um, so on possession, you go the other way or you give one team? What I usually do is give them more than one possession. Okay. Because I need for them usually two or three or four at a time before we go. Like, what we try to do is, uh, like, I remember I told you before when I talked to you earlier, we'll come out at the beginning of practice, okay, and we'll go, we'll put two minutes on the clock. Like, give me the three reds over there. 
Okay? And for two minutes, the whole team's half at one end, half at the other. All right, get off. Give me the whites up there. Give me all the whites. Get up there. Hurry up, white. Get over there. All right, half the team's down there, the other half's up there. Two minutes on the clock. Ready? Regular. In and up. In and up. In, up. Stop. Good. Next person. In, up. I'm passing them the ball. They're shooting it. Good. In, up. Good. In, uh, up to the foul line. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Where are you supposed to go? Middle. Do it again. In into the middle of the foul line. Here we go. In, middle. Middle. You shoot it, throw it back. Come on, next person. Next person. Right to the foul line. Call for the ball. I don't hear you calling nothing. Ball. Good. Next person. Next person. Call it. Ball. Next person. Good. All right, stop. Good. Everybody goes through twice. Another minute, minute and a half. All right, ready. Go in. In, up, back door. In, up, back door. Good. In. Come on. In, up. Break the plane. Back door. Good. In, up, back door. Come on. Come on. In, up, back door. Good. Good. All right. Good. All right. Yeah. Good. Stop. All right, next person. In. Curl. Curl. Good. Next person. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, curl, curl, two minutes, two minutes, a minute and a half, whatever you want to do, good, 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 stop, in, in, flare, 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 next person, get out, next person, next person, next person, next person, good, next person, so now, we just did that, say a minute and a half, or a minute each drill, it's three minutes, now we go put three minutes on the clock, red team come out here quickly, three minutes on the clock, three against three, three against three, Give me three whites. Three against three. One side of the court. Coach comes out. Three minutes. Here we go. Ready? Play. Here we go. Good. Come on. Here we go. Give me the ball. Give me the ball. Start again. Start again. Start again. Good. Good shot. Good. Good. That's no, so three minutes. Switch sides. Switch sides. Give me three more red and three more white. Hurry up. Hurry up. Three minutes. We don't have a whole lot of time. Get off. Get off. Next group. Next group. You're slowing down. Play. Get the ball. Good, here we go, good. Play. Good, there you go, good. Good, play. Huh, huh, that's it, don't give up on the cut. Good, good, good. Corner move, dive, attack. Oh, that's it, good, kick it out, you're in trouble. Kick it out, kick it out, start again. You're in trouble. Good, stop. All right, now, three minutes, good. So now, in the span of like, what, six minutes, you've gone over everything. Every day, every day. So now, at the end of the week, You've done it a lot. So then, you take as much time as you want for scrimmaging. But that's what we do at the beginning, just to break it down, break it down, break it down. And that's how fast we run it, all the time. And that's why we don't condition very much. We don't run a lot of sprints. Because we, during the course of practice, you run this, you run this offense for about 35 minutes, you, you, you run a lot. You see what I'm saying? And it also teaches them to be mentally sharp. They're always attacking. Everything, their concept is always one thing. Attack, 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 attack. Never stop. Attack them. Attack them. That's why, you see what happened when you didn't break off the cut? You would have got a layup. So my point is that that's the concept of how we play. Attack, 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 attack. But we're being patient at the same time. Okay. You see what I'm saying? We're not, you see the time you were in trouble here, you dribbled and you had nothing? As soon as we have nothing, what do we do? Kick it out, start again. Okay? Yep. Any, any, they did a great job. First, give them a hand first. I run a little bit. We throw it to the corner, just mm -hmm. like that, and we have a hard time. That person keeps coming through, and now when they cut through, there's two people sliding there. Okay. Is there anything that you do to teach that? So they, I even noticed when they were doing it, they were cutting this corner. So you mean the pass goes to the corner, right. and who collides? I don't understand your question. The opposite wing wants to come across. When, once it came here, the opposite wing. Okay, what I tell them is, this is what I teach, once they see it go corner, I tell them to break it off. Right. Just break it off. Because all we want when the ball goes corner is we want this person to dive hard. And I want this person to have room to take it. Now even if she doesn't beat her player, the whole key is if she doesn't beat her player, she keeps attacking. It forces help. And if they don't help a lot, she breaks off the attack and just kicks it out and starts playing. So you don't have to get it, but I want them to attack. And the worst that should happen is they dribble the ball to here and nothing happens, well we're still in our spread spots and we start again. The key to this bottom line is, how, like I said before, how much you're willing to run it, how, how committed they are to running it. Our kids are committed to do it. So they'll run it till they drop. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, they'll start running it and I'll go make a phone call. And I'll come back and they'll be on their fifth, their, 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 their 8500s cut. You know what I'm saying? But that's the way they're trained to do it. Is there an offense that you have that you complement it with to go to it? Well, we run the five out offense, open post, which are the same exact moves, but everybody is out at the three point line. The thing about this that makes it different is it's a much quicker attacking offense because every pass is a potential shot. Even this person backpedaling out to the wing on the reverse, that's a shot if you don't guard it. And if they start running at you, you catch it, you start driving. You see? And then the three point shooter starts spreading them out even more and they start running at you more. Again, certain teams this works better than the, 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 the open post. Some teams the open post works better. I found that the open po post works better when we, when we have play against bigger teams and spread them out a lot farther. This works really good um, against teams that you know, are, are like not as well defensively. They're just, they don't want to, they don't want to play hard. And you just wear them out. You know what I'm saying? But that's my point about the back door. You, like on this, the back door will, will create opportunities for the replaced person. That's why I yelled at you the one time. You're trying to flare on the back door. Well, you should have just shortened the distance of the pass because you would have got this ball here and you would have got a shot. But those are all the things you learn. The bottom line is, can you stay with it for more, more than a week, week and a half? Because I'm telling you, it's going to look really bad. From a defensive standpoint, what do you find most difficult to play against? Switching man to man. Because what happens is that our players become stereotyped. Did you see today? She became stereotyped. Every time the kids switched, she refused to go back to her. And she kept coming out farther to catch it. So what happens is, as we become stereotyped, the switching man to man becomes more effective. So what we do at practice is, we spend four minutes against switching mans, we spend two minutes against pass and traps, then we spend five minutes against no switches, we spend four or five minutes against first pass, jump into a zone. So we try to simulate what other teams will do, to give them constant looks at it. You see what I'm saying? So that's why I do it in time segments. Because what I found is, when I would say to kids, hey, they're switching, well, they need to see the switch like 35 times in a row. And then they need to see the regular 35 times in a row so they begin to understand. And, but the switching man-to-man -man is probably the hardest thing. And again, when you play against a team that's superior athletically, if they overplay you a lot, even though you're going back door, you may not have the skill level to throw the pass anyhow. You see what I'm saying? So, but that doesn't matter anyhow. You're going to get beat anyhow, so it don't matter. You know what I'm saying? So once you, get to play, once you get to that level, it doesn't matter. You see what I'm saying? But what it does is, it, if it gives you an opportunity to control tempo if you really want to. You know what I'm saying? Because you can make 50 passes if you want. You see if you can teach your kids to be, we only have 30 seconds. We can probably make, what did I tell them? I think we can make 10 passes in, in between 12 and 15 seconds. We can make 10 passes. So in 20 seconds, we can make almost 14 or 15 passes. Give me the red team again. I, I, I'm just curious. See how fast, you guys, let me see how many passes you can make in like 15 seconds. Just run it regular now, just regular. Ready, begin, one. Two, three, you count the passes, four, five, six, seven, eight, you count the passes, I'm counting the other thing. All right, hold up, start again. You count the passes, I'll count the time. Okay. All right, ready? Begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12. So you can make a decent amount of passes. Stop. You guys work really hard. I mean, you can make a decent amount of passes. And it wears the defense down. Wears them down. They, don't want to, they just don't want to play defense. But the, the key is for you guys is to get them to set the screens at the right spot. Wait for the screen. Run their players off the screen. We didn't go over, I mean obviously we didn't go over like running shoulder to shoulder because that's all stuff that 
we all know anyhow. So that's where you have to spend time teaching. If you're going to teach it in high school, then you're going to have to do a lot more breaking it down stuff. I don't know if you can do total trial and error in high school. I don't know if you can. College is a little different. Uh, and then what happens is this offense, they run in the preseason. Like when they, I can get five of my players who graduated 15 years ago and they'll play a pickup game and that's what they'll run because it's just engraved in them. They may not run it perfectly, but they, that, that they, they stay with the concept. It's more of a concept of how to play than it is necessarily an offense. But it does have rules to it. It does have definitive rules. You know what I'm saying? So it keeps them on track. But the biggest rule of all is when you make a mistake, just fill a spot and keep playing. Don't ever stop playing. See, most teams, when a, pr a play breaks down or ma they make a mistake, what do they do? They reset. So while they're resetting, the defense is catching their breath. On this, theoretically, even when you make a mistake, you're not really resetting. You're still, you're still attacking in some way, shape, or form. Any, any other questions? Coach, when you were setting up your drill and you were the coach on this side, you told the point person, fake and come back. Right. As I watched White defend, do you have any kind of a set where you, you do that? Where White we fake watch, and come back? Jump off. Sometimes we do in a game, I'll tell them pass back. Okay. Pass back. Set up a shooter. On right. Back. For drill's sake, though, we just told them to throw it back to practice that. But we do say pass back in a game. Now, I've seen teams, when the ball goes point wing, you run wing and then your point behind. I've seen teams run the wing. First? I just don't see how that would work. It's too slow. It's too slow. This cutter's got to go almost as the ball is airborne. As the ball is airborne, she's almost starting her, her cut. Because a lot of times you'll see the kids catch it late in their cut. That's why I told her don't give up. And, and the other thing is don't fight. If they bump you high, go low. If they bump you low, go high. Because kids always want to prove how tough they are. Well, I'm not, I'm not concerned about how tough you are. Just get open. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? I, I don't have time to worry about all that. You know what I mean? So that's the only way you can negate talent. Because if you're going to fight, bump, and power, you ain't going to win a talent game. It's not going to happen. You're not going to win. And people say to us, well, everybody comes up to me and says, well, how did you beat Connecticut? Well, we certainly didn't beat them in a talent game. You know what I'm saying? We beat them by slowing down the clock. We made shots. So we obviously got to make shots, but we can't out-talent them. We can't out-power them. We can't out-quick them, so we just, we just bore them to death. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so we just try to lull them to sleep. You know? And they also, now what happens is the other team knows that if they miss a shot, Oh, no, Jesus, God, we got to go guard these guys for another 20, 30 seconds? The pain in the ass. You know what I mean? So th that's the kind of mentality we want to create for teams. We want, we want to walk out there and create that. You know I mean, we, we, you know, Gino always used to say that he would not allow his players to watch us warm up. He would just tell them, you, you can't watch us warm up because you start laughing and you figure it, you, you might as well not play the game. You know what I'm saying? So that's the whole concept of what we want to try to do. And if you have a smaller team, like you said, drive teams nuts with this. Any other questions? Well, I've seen Tennessee run it. I mean, i got a player that plays for Tennessee. Mm -hmm. They don't run it like, I mean, they don't run it. Is it because they haven't run it as long? They haven't run as long, but they actually, got, they actually got pretty good at it the second, not the first year, the summer after the first year, they began to run it fast. It the only thing is that, and, and I've said this to Pat, I don't know if they're totally, totally, their players aren't totally sold on it. They know they're good enough, they don't have to do it. My players know they're not good enough and they have to do it. There's a big difference, you know what I mean? Like when I went, when I went down there and showed it to them and I spoke to the team, I, I didn't even, I'm trying to like tell the truth and I'm insulting them. I told the players, I said, I, I don't think you guys can do this. And they're like, what do you mean we can't do it? I said, well, you're, you're, you think you're too talented to do it. You see what I'm saying? But my whole point is if you took five really talented players and did this, I just think it gets better. It's just, you know, they're just better at it. Do you think it has anything to do with they don't have the perimeter shooters? Well, I don't know. I, 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 I just think that they have to change their mentality, which they've changed. They actually did it better than I thought they would the first year. They really did. Now, last year I thought they got a little better at it. You know why they got better at it last year? Because when what's the name got hurt, when Moore got hurt, they kind of were, they kind of bought into it a little bit more because they weren't as talented as they were before. You know what I'm saying? But your players have to develop that mentality too. You know, that's why I give them the freedom to drive and stuff. Because as you get better players, you got to let them do a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? 
I think the dribble drives, like if teams switch, like we played Virginia Tech a couple years ago and, we, and they do a great job of switching. So what I told my players was, let them switch. Allow them to switch and then when we read our guard against their center, as soon as that person touches the ball, that was the trigger to attack. So we basically passed the ball for no reason whatsoever than to let them switch. And then as soon as we got the mismatch, we drove it and kicked it. And, and we won the game because we just, we beat them on individualism, but, uh, how can I explain? We, we beat them on individual play, but we didn't beat them on individual play. We just forced them into a mismatch and then took advantage of the mismatch. And then what you, how you do that? You tell them to run it, but a little slower. Because we're not, we're not trying to get open. We're just trying to make you switch. And then when we read it, we attack them. So you can do all kinds of things with it. I used to try to run this against the zone. Now tomorrow I'll show you the zone offense. Well the zone offense started with this against the zone with no screens. And then, I, and then five years later I got it to where it is. But the same concept, everything we do at Villanova is the same concept. And then we run set plays into this. We'll run a set play, doesn't work, we go into this. That's why I was wondering if you did that. Yeah, we run like about 15 set, different set plays. And then they all go into this or the five out. Any other question? How much time in practice do you spend on draw and kick? Dribble, attack, and kick? Probably, I can't say a specific time, because every possession potentially could be that. You see what I'm saying? Now there, like, now there is a segment of practice, where, like I'll say five minutes or four minutes, where we are not allowed to do anything but drive and kick. But during the course of practice, there may be 40 possessions where they drive and kick. You follow what I'm saying? There's, there's certain times they're only allowed to do that, and then there's other times they can do it on their own. So, your only rule of draw and kick or drive and kick is, is you just spread out. Right, as, Do you rotate anybody behind the ball? Or no, as we do it, we, as, as soon as we read a drive, we just do it. The kids on the weak side read it and step back. That's all we do. Sometimes you can't overcoach them. It, it, sometimes it, it's just let it happen. Because sometimes when we try to diagram too much, it doesn't work. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like a lot of times, I'll, like I'll say to a kid, just score. You know what I mean? Because I don't want to get into, confu not confusing them, but putting more things in, in their brain. Because you know, they're overloaded as it is, sometimes. Anything else? And then what happens is the kids that aren't very good, aren't as talented, doesn't matter because they can still play a little bit. You know what I mean? They just catch it and pass it. And they, but they still can play. They still can get in the game. And they don't have to do something that, that shows their, their non-talent. You know what I mean? Because if you're telling a kid to get it, I want you to get it, I want you to triple pivot and throw it, they're not talented enough. Just catch it and pass it. And then go to screen somebody. At least you feel like you're in the game. If you make a curl, maybe you can make a layup. So it gives them a little bit of confidence because you're always giving them something simple to do. Simple. When they screen and you have them backpedaling, um, is it too slow if they crab out? You understand, like a defensive slide out with their shooting foot back, would it I, be too slow? I think, yeah. Okay, that's what I want to know. Yeah. I, I like the backpedal only because the time it takes to do anything else, I've already made three steps. So I'm only that closer. Those are the only things like I, I emphasize a little bit is that little back pedal out. And then, you know, then after you show it to them, like after the first week, then we will begin to fine tune. Make sure they set the screen the right way. Make sure they go in off the screen the right way. Because I don't worry about that the first week. Because they have to learn they have to learn where they're going first. Once they learn where they're going, then they can fine tune it. You see what I'm saying? Anything else? Okay, I go over.